A lyrical and expressive ballerina, Kozlova has in latter years become renowned as a private coach. Since having started her own school in New York in 2003 and having launched her own international ballet competition, Valentina has produced students who have won prestigious prizes and positions. It just, I feel like I lived so many lives, to tell the truth. Um, obviously in Soviet Union, I, I do come from not uh, upper class in the sense of uh, none of my parents were uh, ha having uh, political careers or anything. So you live like everybody else. And I lived in commune apartment. So therefore, in a way, in a strange way, we have no privilege, so my concentration was, I want to be a dancer, and everything went into that. And I was age three when I said, um, I have to do something to be better than where I am. And it's interesting to even to think about three-year-old child, so I didn't think that my mother or somebody has to do something I said to myself, I have to do something. I think it's the key. That's the beginning that you don't rely on anybody. You want it, you do it. Uh, of course, huge effort was uh, is to get into Bolshevik Valley School, which I didn't, I didn't think that it would be possible. It was possible. I was successful. Then my next goal was to get into Bolshevik company. I got it. My first full-length ballet I wanted to dance in my head was Swan Lake, I had it, and so on and so on. So whatever I decided to do, I had it. We have nearby in Soto Grande, we have our uh, international summer camp, and one of the little girls dancer, dancer came to attend, and the mother introduced us to Anne-Marie, who has it, this is her school. And, uh, and it, we took from there, we started to talk about how we can help uh, Gibraltar and how we can help to develop dancers here uh, to go forward. During her time in Gibraltar, Valentina spent time with local students who participated in a workshop session, and she also took time to explain what is needed to succeed. You can have many injuries, you can be very tired, and yet tomorrow is another day. You can't just take rest because you're very tired. You can do less, but you still have to get up. Because uh, discipline and dedication, it's a uh, number one factor. Uh, number two factor is love for what you do, whether you're a ballet dancer or an athlete or a, a scientist, anything. That if you do this with passion, and you have with good coaches, you're going to succeed. We've been awarded gold medals, silver medals, and a Grand Prix. For Ms. Kozlova's summer intensive that we do every year, mm -hmm. that we're hoping to continue many more and eventually bring Gibraltar. <laughs> that would be amazing. With her eye cast on Gibraltar and plans for her to return next year, Valentina Kozlova may as yet help to identify The Rock's next aspiring artist and nurture them to perform on the world stage.